Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, and we are here at the finale part of Course 2, which is your basket weave. This is Cake Decorating Basics, taught by Cakes by Jermaine, and this is your very last and final class, which is the basket weave. Right after this, it's going to be your finale cake. Yes, just remember that this wonderful technique, it can basically turn any cake or cupcake into a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful variation. As you can see right here on the table, I have a variation of a basket weave. I'm going to show you how to put this together, how to count it out, and how to counteract it so that it's lined up on your cake as opposed to doing it flat on the table. There's many, many different variations of this and different tips. You can use round tips along with your basket weave tips. You can use all kinds of tips. You can use the flat part of it. I basically use the serrated part of the basket weave tip. You're going to use tip number 48 for this. Tip number 48. Okay? This is great for bridal, maybe any type of holiday, and especially for Easter. Easter baskets, if you're doing Easter baskets. So let's go ahead and let's get started. As you can see here, there's a, a, a trick to how to make sure that all of this line up. So I'm going to try to teach it to you, and I basically do it by markers to make sure that it all lines up but once it's on a cake you can do the same exact thing you can basically mark it with either a toothpick or a spatula or anything on top of the cake and you can just mark the cake but what I basically do is I put the tip there and I can mark it from the tip tip space tip space tip space basket weave is tedious work it is very, very tedious because if you are not close to the cake itself and you let too much space come through it, it's going to sway and it's going to wiggle. You don't want that. You want one big straight line from bottom to top. You don't want to do it from top to bottom. You can. And I'm going to show you here how to do it both ways, how to do it from bottom to top and then top to bottom. Okay? So let's go ahead and let's get started. Alrighty, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to erase this one so you can see a fresh one. Remember sanitation, guys. You want to go ahead and always have sanitation. Wipe off your areas. You don't want any bugs. You don't want any roaches. You don't want any of those unwanted guests in your kitchen. So go ahead and use all your sanitary stuff so this is how I started so I basically look at my cake and then I decide well what I what do I want the cake to look like but basket weave is is generic it's you're just basically going around the entire cake with the same pattern you want a line and then you want a crisscross on a line you can use a ruler if you want to use a ruler go ahead and use a ruler to help you practice so you can go ahead and you can set the ruler here actually flip it right side up so you can actually see it and let me go ahead and do it this way so I can show you because that's that's an easier way so you can go ahead I'm using the serrated side and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna line I'm gonna start here with number 12 I'm gonna put a line here I'm gonna skip a space and then I'm going to do a line here I'm going to skip a space and I'm going to do a line here. Skip a space, do a line here. Skip a space, do a line here. And just keep continuously doing that so you, you can do a few. This will help you when you first start out. After a while, after you've done a few of them, you won't need to do this anymore. You can just basically just go ahead and just do it. So this, and you can go ahead and remove the ruler. That sort of kind of helps you set up for your basket weave. This sort of kind of helps you just set up. All it is is just helping you set up of what you need to do and what you don't need to do. So basically, I'm going to start from top to bottom and then go from bottom to top. And remember, when you go from bottom to top, you flip the bag right side up and you go this way. You go this way. You go this way. You turn your fist inward when you're doing basket weave because you can't do 
a six o'clock this way. So you're gonna have to reverse it this way, which is a six o'clock backwards, and go from the bottom of the cake all the way up to the top of the cake. Bottom of the cake, top of the cake. Bottom of the cake, top of the cake. So let's go ahead and let's do. Let's do it this way. Let's just do it the way that the cake is designed to be done. So you're gonna start from here. And you're going to go from here, straight up. Apply medium pressure. See? Straight up. And then you're going to go from one side to the other side, to where this side is at, where you marked it at. So you're going to go from the top, here, straight across, lift, and put down. Now the same thing. From here, you're going to go ahead and put a space put a little mark and go ahead and do the same exact thing crisscross over and stop hold on let me move this so I can show you a little bit better here can you see it good make a little mark just so that you can remember come back here over and stop make a little mark over and stop you want to make sure that you have a space to actually do the basket weave so you have to start out somewhere and then you have to end up somewhere so this is going to be your ending point this is your beginning point going straight across so you want to make sure that you draw a line make sure that you mark that line that's what the markers are for so you know hit 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 space 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 so, you want to go ahead and you want to draw your basket weave upward from the end of that line. From the end of the line itself. So, draw. Go straight up. Medium pressure and stop. Now you see that you have spaces in between. You have spaces in between. So, you want to go ahead. Remember the space and then you've already marked. So, that's an empty space. So you want to go ahead right to the center, up, right in the empty space, up, right in the empty space, up, right in the empty space. Should have drawn this out a little bit longer, but that's fine. Okay, right where that mark is at. Remember you made that mark? Empty space, empty space, empty space, mark, 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 mark. So you want to go ahead and you want to follow that out. So, go ahead, again, from the bottom, draw your line straight up, medium pressure. And now we start at the top, and we bring it straight across. Here, bring it straight across to the other line, here. This way, here, bring it straight across to the other line, here. Here, medium pressure, straight across to the other line. Medium pressure, you want to lift up straight across okay again from the bottom straight to the top and stop so now you see the basket weave starting to form you see the basket weave starting to form correct alright so once again inside the center and over in over in over come from the middle straight up stop top over top over top over top over what you don't want to do is leave any space in between so you want to make sure that you calibrate it so that there's a point where there's absolutely no space in between that is as tight as a basket weave should be I sort of kind of left that space so I can show you that that's not what you want that is not what you want you don't want any space in between you want it to be as smooth as possible you don't want the lines to be too long because that's what causes that when the lines are too long out here and they're not short enough and you haven't calibrated them correctly then you end up with those spaces so let me go ahead and let me close it in so I can show you okay so go ahead close this line in and make them smaller here Make the line smaller. 
see there's nothing here at the bottom so you want to go ahead and you want to close it in make sure that they connect here 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 see go ahead and close it in and across one two three there's nothing at the bottom so you can just go ahead and you can draw a last line if there's a last line go ahead from the bottom to the top and then do the top over 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 close it in okay so that gives you an idea of the basket weave again you want a starting line you want an ending line you want to make sure that there's a beginning and that there's an end go ahead and mark your lines so that you know exactly where you can um it'll sort of kind of help uh, I would recommend you use a ruler again a spatula anything to mark lines on your cake so you'll know when to go straight up when the spaces are do not space them out too far because then you'll have a gap you don't want a gap in your basket weave you want to make sure that you close up each hole go straight up and down this is going to take a lot of practice this is just as difficult as the rows or harder okay so I hope you guys enjoyed course numbers one and course numbers two you've done a lot you have a lot to practice